Hello, I am Ashley from AshleyJune.com here with your Astro Weather Report for the week of May 22nd to the 28th. Tomorrow we have the full moon in Sagittarius. That's going to be one of our major aspects of the week. And Sagittarius is the sign of the archer. Um, it's like if you see just like the little symbol for it, it's a bow and arrow. But the thing about Sagittarius is it's not about where the arrow lands. It's about the journey of the flight of the arrow. Sagittarius is the sign of the seeker of truth and ruled by the planet Jupiter, the giver of gifts and luck. So this full moon, I think Sagittarius is one of the most fun sides of the Zodiac. Um, I think we're going to be really doing a lot of release work or having release energy surrounding what <clears throat> is our truth, who, you know, what is truth to you and releasing anything that's holding you back because Sagittarius cannot be held back. Uh, you can't tell Sagittarius what to do. If you try to tell them what to do, they're going to do the opposite. So a lot of release work around those themes. The other thing about Sagittarius, because they are ruled by Jupiter, they are protected by Jupiter. And because Jupiter is that gifter of luck, you might, if you know any Sagittarians, you know this is true, that a Sagittarius can get themselves in all types of trouble, but they always come out smelling like a rose or they are the person who you're like, why is their life so much easier? They probably don't have a lot of Saturn placements. Those that teacher taskmaster, Jupiter just makes things easier on a Sagittarius. So full moon in Sag tomorrow. And then we will have also Venus moves into Gemini. And then on the 25th, Jupiter is going to move into Gemini. So. We've got a lot of planets changing signs from Taurus into Gemini. This is going to give us a lot lighter energy. Gemini is the sign of the twins. It's an air sign. And Jupiter, when he moves, um, when he moves into a new sign, he brings that gift, those gifts and luck to that sign. So if you're a Gemini or you have heavy Gemini placements, Great for you because for the next year, you will have Jupiter in your sign. So again, he also brings protection with him. Jupiter protects those that he rules. And whenever he shows up into your sign, he's going to give you a little bit more protection to be able to go out and really go after what it is that you're looking for in life. Always great to have Jupiter in your sign. Always very exciting. And I think what we're also going to see with this, because Jupiter makes things bigger and expansive, G uh, Gemini is the sign of mental health. It's the sign of the connection of the mind and the body. I think we're going to see, and on a world front, um, more talk about this, more looking into mental health and how our brains really affect our bodies. So look out for all of those. Very exciting week. And I am ready for a caller. Uh, Julie? <clears throat> yes, this is Julie. Hi, Julie. How are you today? I'm hanging in there. Is there anything specific that you've called in for today that you were wanting to ask about? Anything specific going on in your life? Yeah, my son, he just passed away. Could you tell me why he passed away? I don't know. They don't know why he passed away. He was only 36. I'm so sorry to hear about your loss, Julie. Thank I work you. Um, angels and higher vibrational dimensional um, energies. So let me see what I can get here. Let's see what we have. I'm going to be, I'm using my angel decks here.
The first thing that I'm having come up is with this question is uh, the six of water here. And this is about, um, this can, this card can be about childhood. Um, uh -huh. Something, and then the next card coming up is the two of earth. So these two cards together, too much going on at once. We're, we're, did he have any known illnesses or anything that was from his childhood? Uh, he, he, he couldn't deal with his dad that way. I'm sorry. His dad, his, his dad passed away when he was only 21. Yeah. Okay. And so you're saying he just suddenly passed. There was no... Uh, he had um he um had a hernia. The father. He went he went in the hospital a couple times for a hernia. They wouldn't they wouldn't do nothing for him. They just gave him medicine for blood pressure pills. Blood pressure pills. Yeah. Mm, for this for your son. Yeah. We think maybe the blood or the hernia busted or something. Uh, he was found on the edge of the couch, leaned over, hunched, hunched over. Yep. That, what I'm getting here is that this it was a, yeah, that because of the six of water that's coming up here, I think that this is something that had been ongoing, but it just wasn't treated. And yeah. this two of earth also coming up here about a lot of different things going on, but that they weren't treated here. Let me see. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ask, pull out some chakra energy cards here as well. The card that's coming up is the Raphael card. That's the Archangel and the the um the card is healing. It's a beautiful green card. And you can see the angel Raphael here. So something what it was a, an ongoing health issue here is what I'm uh -huh. getting with that as well. And did you ask um, for there to be uh, an autopsy done to find yes. out? Yes, yes, yes. They did do the autopsy. It's going to take four to nine months to find out. Yep. Yeah, okay. it does take a long time. It's not something that's quick. Because he was only thirty-six, and he was he was passed away by himself. So yeah, they had to do autopsy. Yes. I'm so sorry to hear of your loss here. Thank you. And then the third eye chakra card is coming up next here. So what I'm hearing with this, and this is just a beautiful purple card, and it looks like an eye with the symbol of the third eye chakra. So that's about being able to see the unseen and i think that so he you you knew that he had a hernia he knew he had a hernia this is yep. what that he did know that there was an issue here but um but that it wasn't treated properly right yeah because of that um and then i have the knight of air card coming up this is a card um or this is an event that happened very quickly is what this card represents here something happening very very fast so what happened so he, when he didn't when it, happened, it was very shocking yeah yeah very shocking very shocking and um i think and it was very quick to him it would not have been something that was slow and painful it would have been very quick oh. um uh -huh. That, that helped a lot to know that. That's yeah, it was not suffering. That um, night of air card, that is all about quickness. So it happened very quickly. 
So this the next card I'm using another angel deck here. This this card is called Evolution, and it's about preparedness. And um, what I'm hearing is he he was not prepared for this at all. And uh, times so that this was very very shocking. Great. Yes, yeah, so then I have um, this point of view card coming up in a reverse, and this is all about um, being oblivious, not knowing, um, not seeing this coming. So it was obviously a shock for you, but it was a shock for him as well. And what I'm hearing uh, is that this was an ongoing health issue, but it was yeah. never care of properly and i'm so yeah. sorry <clears throat> very difficult um, but wait, um, wait. i am hearing that he um it was very shocking for him but that he's in a good place now and that right right he is in the light and you don't have to worry about that and that he is able to so what when you want to talk to him talk to him because he is with you he is around you um uh -huh. that he likes to maybe listen to, for songs if he might send you songs certain music that comes on uh for him to show you that he's with you and near you that that is one of the uh -huh. ways that he might um contact you there julie well okay. thank you so much for calling in julie and i'm again so sorry for your loss always such a difficult thing to lose the ones that we love but he's not completely gone he's just in another form on the other side and you can still talk to him because he can still hear you for sure okay thank you you're welcome thank you very much and listeners if you would like to book a private reading with me, an astrological reading or a psychic reading, you can contact me at ashleyjune.com. That's A-S-H-L-I-E-J-U-N-E dot com.